Good morning from Canada. Today I feel a little bit like Kim Kardashian. Do you guys know why? No. I have no I clue. I can hardly wait for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Kim Kardashian. Yeah, because you I want to change. Nothing like her. Yeah, because I want to change my rear end. Oh. Oh, you got that? That's right. We are going to change the rear end of the school bus, and it might be today, but that's on our list of things to do. All right, so we went over this before, but the proper way, besides telling a dealer your VIN number, is to get back there and uh, get the tag and see what the rear end ratio is. Can you give me a flashlight? Yep. I got the this is ratio 411. Really? 411 and put No, 4... Uh, is it a 411 or 477? No, it's 411. Really? That's weird. Yeah, it's 411 already. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, should we drop it down? Looks like we have a 411. You want to explain how to, to read this thing? Well, what that means is 411. You turn the pinion, you turn the pinion once, or the pinion turns 4.11 times for every time the wheel turns, right? Mm -hmm. So what you want to do is, you got 11R22.5, so I think, we'll talk to Igor, but I think if we put 24 fives on, you'll end the problem. Mm -hmm. I know you well, we'll get tires that are just as good as that. Don't yeah. worry. All right, so uh, rear end is a 4.11, uh, 411. So for those people who know what that means, uh, for everyone else, it means I won't be modifying my rear end unlike Kim Kardashian. Also, side note, wrote some jobs on the thing and uh, uh, things to buy and jobs and a little schematic for the coolant for the veggie system um, right now I'm trying to figure out what to do here because are you are you vlogging again hey pipe down over there get back to work what? <laughs> he's uh he's working on the side support thing um, we still have this to do but we got to rethread it so I haven't done that it, it's kind of hard here because we have like I feel like we have a handful of jobs and they're all like half completed because of not having like proper threads, not having, um, you know, uh, it's finally sunny by the way, uh, weather, rain delays, and not being able to go and get a part in town because town is 20 minutes away, the big city's an hour away, things like that. So um, we're just, I don't know what I'm going to do. All right, Kodak went out of business, but we have a Kodak moment here. What's going on? Well, we got uh, this nice beam that is almost fitting perfectly. Thank you, you know, an almost straight line on a school bus. Um, only people who are building school buses are going to probably get that joke because nothing's straight on a school bus. <laughs> um, but yeah, so what we have to do here is, uh, because there used to be an emergency door here, there was no beam, so we have to re-weld the structure of the bus so that Jack's here. If anyone decides to hit him on a side impact, he'll be a little bit more safe. Just, yeah. Just a little bit. And by the way, if anybody doesn't know how safe these buses are, just look on YouTube, uh, Side Impact School Bus, and if anything hits me, I feel really bad for you, because you're going to get worked. Okay, where were we? I had to run to town. I got some rivets and uh, some adhesive stuff here, but it looks like uh, somebody was up to uh, some work over here. You want to share with the class what you did? Uh, I welded in the support beams for the Max fan. Yep. Uh, for the, did we tell them yet? Nope. Nope, did something else. And uh, then I uh, finished off this window area so we can get some sheet metal on there. Nice. So we are uh, going to make this nice and flat and then we're going to take the uh, little bump guard things, put them back on that just uh, for uniformity, I think, right? We're going to put them back on or are we going to make so it flat? Oh, whatever you want. Okay, whatever you want, he says. <laughs> so up here, well, that's going to be something. We framed it out. Not really sure if anyone has any guesses yet, but feel free to guess in the comment section. I won't be confirming or denying anything re involving this space here, but I will tell you, it is a first. <laughs> right, to our knowledge. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. But right now, it definitely looks like a convertible, uh, so that may or may not be it. Like I said, won't confirm or deny. Uh, but this is where the uh, Max fan goes in. This is really just for support from the roof. Uh, all that stuffs, because you don't really go in from the side. Um, what else? What else? I'm gonna cover up those lights. I don't know if I'm gonna do it today, but 
I'm gonna prep for that, I think. What else is going on in here? Oh, I feel uh, like... I'm gonna be doing that. Oh, you're gonna be doing that. Okay, Susie's so gonna be working on this part today. Yeah. We're closing that off. And this is yet to be explained here, so if anybody has a guess for the passenger side, uh, old handicap uh, wheelchair ramp, feel free to guess on that one. Otherwise, yeah, we're just gonna get back to work. So you see this nasty reflective stuff? We have this uh, wheel here and it can work. It's a lot of work though. Um, so what I've been using is this here um, heat gun. And just for the purposes of uh, demonstration, we'll show you how it works. But basically, you just kind of heat up a spot. Now I do it with two hands at one time. So left hand is in front of uh, my right hand when it's, uh, you know, getting it off there. Let's see. So basically, I just move both hands at the same time and scrape and heat. But watch how easy this stuff comes up. All right. So, heated it up. Of course, for the purposes of this demonstration, it's not so easy. But uh, anyways, take my word for it. Just like magic, all that strip is gone, you know? There's things that I'm learning on the second time around that I didn't know the first time around. That was the first time I ever used a heat gun, by the way. I didn't remove it. It got wrapped over with the uh, graphic rep I had before, and then it had a little, little crease on it, just like, uh, actually, I think that, did I have school bus on there? Yeah, just like the school bus part. If you don't take it off, even if you paint over it, you're still going to have that little bump over it where you can see what it said before. So between the eraser wheel, this is what's left over from using the eraser wheel. Um, you could get those little things off with the eraser wheel. Heat gun is the best thing for these things. Uh, these things being the uh, reflectors. And uh, the eraser wheel is the best thing for the lettering because if you use a heat gun, I tried it on just those two words right there, one or two words, and it just like melted it. it turns into tar. So use the eraser wheel for the lettering. showing us how to weld the floors. We might weld the floor and not uh, do a bondo. Looks And then you grind it down. Wow. Interesting. It's like they never existed. Yeah. Well, yeah. Do it. Do it. He's having fun now. I know. See, I like learning from Batch because he has so much knowledge. Like, oh yeah, we can do that. That's really easy. So what you do is you take the hole and you start, and then you just go around the hole and go around until you fill it in, right? Yeah. And the big ones are a okay. pain. But then the bigger ones, like, you can... Put a piece of metal over it, yeah? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But see how shiny this is? Yeah. Watch this. It'll splatter. Yeah, that's 
clean, it'll fill right in. Those are filled. See that one there? We never even get it going. Right? Yeah, yeah. Now if you clean it. how to fix the floor in a short amount of time so I'm gonna go with yeah, the grinder to, and then uh, Michael's gonna to follow me yeah yeah so uh, Michael's gonna follow me we're gonna head that way but it catches on fire when you're welding. So just watch out if you do this. See that? That's a pretty big flame. <sighs> Anyways, just blew that one out. But uh, it smells, it smells like burning tar down there. 